Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully you had a good week. I hope you had a good night's rest and you're ready to face the day. Hopefully you're getting ready for church tomorrow. Um, I'm going to read to you from the book of Mark in chapter 5. And verse 1, And they came over unto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken to pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains, and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou tormentest me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was nigh under the mountains a great herd of swine feeding, and the devils besought him, saying, Send us unto the swine, that we may enter into them. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave, and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea, and they were about two thousand and were choked in the sea. <laughs> so here's a picture of a, of a man, and sometimes we get this idea that it's just because this man was possessed by devils, the spirits that were in him cried out um, to Jesus. But, but what do we suspect is in us before we're saved? Well, none of us like to think that, but... Um, God makes a change. And you know, I think sometimes people are, they can be too lenient on themselves or too hard on themselves. They think, well, God can never forgive me or, oh, I messed up again. I must still be that old person. Or, and they feel like maybe they never did anything wrong. Um, but I think there is a, there is a place in between there where we realize that we can never forgive ourselves. And there are things that Satan would draw us into and would tempt us with. At, at times, we weren't able. We just weren't able to break those chains uh, of Satan. This man, although he was chained by people that would want to protect their property, no doubt, and themselves, and even maybe him, he would break those chains. And it wasn't just the physical strength of this man, but it was what he was possessed by. Um, but when Jesus spoke to him and, and cast those uh, spirits out of him, this man wasn't the same. Notice when we see him again, the scripture says he's clothed and in his right mind, sitting at the feet of Christ. Sin makes you do a lot of things that you regret later on in life. And some people, it takes a long time for them to get to the point where they realize what it was that they had maybe lost through uh, the life that they had lived. Um, I wrote this song years ago, and, you know, I mean, not everybody has dealt with alcohol or different problems in their life, but when you've been around that stuff, and, and uh, it's something that bleeds over and it affects everybody around the person, whether it's drugs or alcohol or whatever it is, it affects the people around you. So that's what this song uh, is about. But when the Lord changes you, he makes it a great change. He can make the unlovable lovable. He can change you, and not just for a week or two, but he can change you for the rest of your life. I came in the back door like so many nights before. And she was on the phone 
I heard her tell her best friend, I can't do this again, I'm tired of being alone. She said he's treating me this way, one too many times, and I've heard all his excuses. Every single line He knows the door's always been open Just in case he wants to come back home But if I know him He probably thinks right now He can make it on his own Said if I know him, he's sitting in a place he shouldn't be, spending his last dollar just to have another dream. What about our children? Does he know they need him here at home? But if I know him, he probably thinks right now He can make it on his own But what she doesn't know Is that I spend most of this evening Talking to the one in heaven and Asking him to help me change my life And I gave him control And he gave me back my freedom And the love for my children and my wife I've been known to be a lever Now I'm a believer And I'll never leave her anymore Cause the man she knows Is not the man I am If I know thank you for the change that you make God, sometimes it takes a while for us to get it right but it doesn't take long for you to get it right God I pray that you would bless those that need to hear this today that it'll be an encouragement to them we love you we thank you in Jesus name amen God bless you folks if you watch Sunday of course you see our church service if not we'll see you back here on Monday God bless <music>